And this is where the identities were born. So you're given the sine of a is two thirds, and the sine of t is minus one third. a terminates in quadrant two, t qu terminates in quadrant four, and we want to evaluate the cosine of the difference of two angles. So you're expanding that out using the formula. Now they've given you a couple of values. Put those in now. We're going to have to go get the other ones. So draw a triangle. Oh, scratch that out. If your triangle is in quadrant 2, draw your triangle so it looks like it's in quadrant 2. Now that's triangle A, and we're looking at the sine, so, so, opposite over hypotenuse. Now find the other one using the Pythagorean. Good. Now we're going to read off that triangle for the cosine of A. The cosine is ka, adjacent, which is root 5 over 2. Whoa, watch your signs. Aren't you in quadrant 2? Oh, all right, keep going then. <laughs> Sarcasm. We're going to do the same thing for triangle T. It's opposite over hypotenuse. Get the other one. That's the square root of 8, which is the two roots of 2. Now I see you saw the sign on that one. So you're putting it in there just like that. This is still bothering me about that sign. OK, so you're taking care of those fractions. Now factor out the common factor. <laughs> you were so concerned you missed that, didn't you? All right, correct that original mistake. And here we go. It is in quadrant 2, so the cosine is negative. So you make it negative, which makes that negative and that negative, and there's just one more mistake. See if you can catch it. Premature box and flower.